Hello and welcome. We're alone together again, and um, I'm glad you're here today. You know, these meditations really, for me, are definitely a touchstone for peace and comfort. And I recognize that sometimes I'm a little fearful. I recognize that even though I'm a meditation teacher, a mindfulness teacher, and I have a pretty strong practice, sometimes I get scared. And I don't know about you, but for me, I've been um, thinking about that this morning. Um, sometimes it's the little things like, oh, I, my husband's up on a ladder and I'm afraid he's going to fall off because he's not mindful, even though I teach mindfulness. Um, or, you know, I can't imagine what the world will be like for, you know, people that, that are just being born or what's going to happen in the election. And I know from my teaching and from what I've learned from my teachers is that fear is really born out of not knowing what's going to happen next, not knowing what the future is going to hold and being a little braced against it. And there is something called the wisdom of uncertainty. The wisdom of uncertainty means, you know, recognizing that this whole unfoldment of creation is, is an orchestrated experience, perhaps, you know, and that maybe whoever's conducting it is, or whatever's conducting it is benevolent. And maybe the power and the force that underlies everything is love. At least I choose to believe it, and then sometimes I forget it. So there's this, um, I belong to the Zen Peacemaker group. It's um, a group founded by a Zen teacher called Bernie Glassman, who died a year or two ago. And there are three tenets with the Zen Peacemakers. The first one is not knowing. Not knowing what's going to happen yet next. You don't know what kind of meditation I'm going to lead. You don't know necessarily what your day is going to be like today or what the next year is going to be like. So there's that wisdom of uncertainty, that not knowing. The second tenet of the Zen peacemakers is bearing witness. We often talk about that as we're meditating, um, is just bearing witness to the sounds, the sensations, the emotions, the interior of you, the, the feelings of um, the way the body breathes and moves. So we bear witness and that's kind of a holding of um, awareness, a holding and being present to whatever's happening, regardless of our thoughts about it. So the tenets start with not knowing, bearing witness, and then taking spontaneous loving action. And that's informed by sitting in maybe your contentment, in your peacefulness, in your happiness, in your clarity, in your restedness. And then suddenly there's movement, there's energy, there's something that moves through you, I'd say love, that moves you to help or to act or to write a letter or to protest or to tell someone you love them or to help somebody with their groceries. But generally speaking, these are the ways, and there's not one that goes in front of another, but bearing witness, not knowing, and taking spontaneous action. So that's what I'm gonna be working with in my day today and um, so I thought what we could do is getting back to basics with breath awareness and maybe, um, maybe a silent mantra practice. And that helps us to transcend the relative, transcend the worries and the fears, transcend the concerns about the future or the uh, regrets of the past. It helps us to transcend actual physical pain and you know some of the stuff that's going on in the relative world as we get back to the unchanging part of you, that part that's looking through your eyes, that presence that is always here in the peace, that presence that's in the peace all the time, regardless of the activity sort of above. So thinking of it as an analogous to an ocean, there are the waves that change. Yesterday when I went to the beach, it was pretty rough, the tide was coming in, but underneath the waves, there's this peace, there's this calmness, there's this stillness. And um, so let's get back to that today. And at the end of the meditation, I might ask you to do an exercise with me that I've been doing all morning. And um, it's a loving kindness practice that someone told me about yesterday that I thought would be fun to do today if that's of any interest to you. So we're meditating for about 20 minutes. I don't have my chimes or bowl with me. I'm just gonna tell you when we'll start and end. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad we can find peace together.
even if it's just for a short time as we then later go about our day. So I invite you to close your eyes and get comfortable. I'm sitting in a chair in my bedroom because uh, my office is otherwise occupied. So wherever you are, find that peace, find that stillness. Now throughout this practice, Ideally, you sit relatively still with your eyes closed, but if you need to move around, open your eyes, scratch an itch, fix your outfit, whatever it may be, do that, and then close your eyes again and return to the stillness. And yes, the waves will always be there. So as you close your eyes and get comfortable, feel the support that's here and now. Whether it's the support of the chair you're sitting in, the environment you're in, or the community that's present. Settle into that support. And recognize that peace is here now. It's right here, right now. Perhaps you deepen your breath a little bit as you breathe in and out through your nose. Sending a signal to your body that it's okay to relax. That all is well right now. And then let your breath return to its natural rhythm and depth. Throughout this practice, let your breath be natural. It might slow down or speed up, get deeper or shallower. Let it be as it is. And let everything be as it is right now. There's no need to struggle against anything in this moment. Let's bring your attention now to the sensations that are present in your body. Bearing witness to whatever's here, whether it's coolness, warmth, lightness, heaviness, sharpness, softness. Scanning your body from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, saying hello to what's here since it's here anyway. Perhaps adopting an attitude of gratitude. Softening any tension you might feel. Lowering your shoulders. Finding peace in this moment. Welcoming everything and resisting nothing. And tuning into the breath, the way it moves the body as the air moves in and out of your lungs. Noticing the gentle rise and fall of your chest and the way your lungs fill and empty Whenever you notice your attention drifting away to an idea, another time or place, or any distraction, 
Bring your attention back here. Tune in now to the breath and be kind to yourself. I invite you to introduce a mantra if you have one that you use, or if you like, you can adopt the one I like, which is Ma on the inhale, M-A, pure love, and Om on the exhale, pure light. There's nothing you have to think about. Simply pay attention to the sound of the mantra. Ma on the inhale, Om on the exhale. The repetition of the mantra is very gentle. There's no need to force or enunciate. Like a gentle internal chant. Ma, Om. Whenever you notice your attention drifting away, come on back here and be kind to yourself. Picking up the mantra again, if you're distracted. There's no particular way you should be feeling other than how you're feeling right now. Ma on the inhale, Om on the exhale. We'll meditate like this for a little while and I'll keep track of the time. Let go of expectations and welcome everything. As you let the mantra charm you along with your breath.
Ma on the inhale, Om on the exhale, softening your face and your body, bringing your gentle attention to the mantra, like you're listening to it. So keeping your eyes closed, 
stop repeating the mantra and sit easily, resting in the stillness. As you sit here, you can see, feel, or imagine with your eyes closed that you are being blessed with peace. You can even imagine that there are flower petals of peace raining upon you gently, as if you're sitting under a apple tree and the petals are falling down around you, gently caressing you with peace. And imagine these same flower petals of peace are blessing everyone on this call, everyone in your immediate environment, Even if they're in the other room, somehow they're being blessed with this peace. Imagine they're being blessed in your entire neighborhood, flower petals of peace, reaching those places that maybe you can't reach. You might even silently say, Shanti, 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 or peace, peace, peace. Let your imagination wander into places where you know peace might be difficult to find or obtain places where people are poor or suffering, animals are incarcerated or people are incarcerated. Imagine the peace all around the earth. Everyone everywhere, every being everywhere being blessed with these flower petals of peace. The peace reaches across the oceans, the mountains, the deserts, the forests, the rivers, the streams. There is no place that peace won't reach. Continue to imagine the gentle reign of peace around this planet. And bring it all back to you now. You might silently say, may I be peaceful. May I be free from suffering. 
May I know that I am loved. And considering your life now, imagine that this peace can reach into your earlier years and into your later years. Imagine this peace meeting you if you are suffering as a child or as you grow older and meet your, your body's frailty or your mind's frailty. Wherever you think you need it or feel that you need it, bring peace to yourself. May I be peaceful. May I be free from suffering. May I know that I am loved. Sit like this for the next minute or two if there's someone or something else you'd like to offer this blessing to. Let your mind bring them into your heart. We'll sit in silence. Before we bring this meditation to a close, be sure your body's completely soft. Letting go of any tension in your hips, your belly, your face, your back, your hands, your feet. And deepen your breath a little bit. Once again, tuning into the peace that's right here, right now. Tuning into the support that's right here, right now. Tuning into the love that is right here, right now. be coming out of meditation, so take your time. Do it at your own pace. 
perhaps deepening your breath or becoming aware of the sounds around you, the light that's coming through your eyelids. Perhaps you become a little more aware of the clothing on your skin or the air on your face. Deepen your breath and slowly begin to open your eyes, but there's no rush. Feel free to keep them closed as long as you like. When you are ready, you can slowly open them. I like to bring this meditation to a close by bringing my hands together in the prayer position, thumbs touching, lightly touching the breastbone. And acknowledging that peace, that love that lives through you as you, that is under the surface of all of those waves, of all the ever-changing landscape and the ever-changing body and mind. Calling it forth to hang out with me all day and to hang out with you all day. May you awaken to the love that lives through you as you and lives through all things as they. So thank you for being with me today. It's what I needed. Hopefully it's what you needed. <laughs> I'm trying to find my... Go.